Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Sour Soccer and I am recording my second video of the day and in this video I'm going to be speaking about Ruben Vinagre because he is going to be signing for Everton on a loan with an option to buy. Now um, obviously we're a general football channel if you haven't come across us before we cover all football content but a couple of Everton fans did reach out to me today they did say you know what do you make of this player so I thought I'd jump on as a Wolves fan and let you guys know because obviously he spent a significant amount of time with us. And I'd also thought, why not just jump on a video, let you guys know exactly what you're signing from my view and whether I think it will be a success. Now, obviously, Everton, I've got him on loan with the option to buy. And he is coming from Sport in Lisbon. This will be a really interesting transfer. And I think there's a lot to um, obviously unpack with this. But before I do, please do help me out. Hit that like button and please do subscribe to the channel if you're coming across us for the first time or if you just haven't done so already. But let's jump into it and speak about, obviously, Ruben Vinagre because a 23-year-old whose primary position is a left-back. But I am going to jump into that in when I'll give him my thoughts in a minute. It's a good signing, I initially think, especially on a loan with an option to buy. But let's jump into the fact that, you know, he's actually got a quite interesting transfer um, background around him. Because one thing you guys might have looked at and researched into is the fact that it's, he only signed from Wolves uh, from and Sporting only signed him this summer. Now, there was an interesting reason about that. We did loan him out um, to Sporting last season. But there was an obligation, although it was an option to buy, there was an obligation in the contract that Sporting would have to make it permanent should they stay up, which is obviously, you know, for the Portuguese league, that was pretty much going to happen. So I think this was pretty much more done maybe just to help defer payments for Sporting. I think there's a few big names that they perhaps can unpack and obviously financial fair play. I think it just worked maybe better for all parties if they made that transfer um, obviously permanent this season this is a player for me it's it, it could go either way and that's why I'm really pleased for Everton that they've got a loan with an option to buy firstly he didn't get a lot of game time with Wolves but he did look promising in fact he won um basically the play the trophy for the most promising young player I think around three seasons ago now so one of the season big things were expected of him but he just couldn't get a run of games you think of from a Wolves perspective of the left backs we've got Johnny Otto, Eight Nori were quite blessed in that position so he didn't get a run of games there which did see him being sent out and low to teams like Olympiacos and obviously sport in last season for me he was always one of those players where he I just felt he didn't achieve his full potential but you could see there's some kind of player in there but obviously as he gets older you kind of wonder, is that player ever going to come out? And I think what's really interesting is, of course, he is predominantly a left back. But for me, when I watched him, he was always kind of in the middle of a left back and a left mid. You could see him going, being someone that actually played further up the pitch. But the problem with that was he didn't quite have that conviction in the final third. You know, he's not really a goal scoring, um, a, a player that's going to get a load of goals. And his final ball wasn't good enough. But then he did seem to lack some um, defensive discipline to be a left back, in my opinion. But one of the things that's obviously interesting about that was at the time he was quite young. You know, he may have developed from that. And it could be interesting, you know, especially when you think about the fact that Frank Lampard is the manager. If someone is going to coach positional awareness now and, you know, also final decision making, if someone's going to train that well into a player, I think he's coming into a good team under Everton with Frank Lampard. Obviously, Lampard in his playing days, one of the most intelligent players, obviously more predominantly going forward. But he positioned himself so well. And one of his main attributes was just knowing to be in the right place at the right time. So I definitely feel maybe if Lampard could take him in under his wing, you know, he could fit in really well. I, when I watched him, there was definitely a player in there. But unfortunately, you only saw glimpses of it and the player didn't quite come out. And it would be interesting to see this season whether Lampard can get that player that I always felt was in there out of him, maybe with a run of games. Will he find that his actual best position is actually more of not a, a, a left-back role, but more of further up the pitch if he can improve his final delivery? Um, or can he improve his positional awareness and maybe make him a bit of a, better of a defender? It's honestly a lot to pick on this. And I think that's why I really like the fact that Everton have made the decision 
for a loan with an option to buy in this one because I think it could honestly go either way. You could look at it as such a great signing uh, in 12 months' time, or it could be one that just didn't really work out and you part ways with him. What I would say is really interesting, though, just from a final point, is I think Wolves' hierarchy was still unsure of whether there was a player in there or not. And I think that has to be said when you look at the terms that he was sold to Sporting, which um, has been revealed that Sporting, in fact, um, only possessed 50% of the economic rights to him. Wolves kept hold of another 50% of that. Maybe that is because they did feel that, you know, there was still a player with potential, but he just hadn't found that potential at Wolves. You do think that maybe that's the reason they didn't fully let the player go. They kept that 50% because there was maybe a feeling that he could turn out into a really, really talented player with a you know, a future high transfer fee. So Everton could be getting a really good deal uh, deal here. I think he will at least add numbers. And I know that sounds daft, but I think the Everton squad looks quite bare. Of course, it was bare last season. And I think it's a, uh, the worst comes to worst, he will be a solid squad player for Everton. But I do think there's something in there for him to be potentially more than that. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's going to do at Everton and also how Frank Lampard might be able to develop him because the weaknesses that he did have as a player, I'd really say they were pretty much Frank Lampard's strengths as a player. So maybe he can coach him well and that could end up in a really interesting prospect if so. But Everton fans, let me know your feelings on this signing. Do you think it's a good signing? And as I said at the start of the video, I'm a Wolves fan, but we are a general football channel. We'll cover lots of general football content. So if you did enjoy the video, there'll be plenty more of general Premier League stuff and also Everton-based content throughout the season. So please do do us a favour, hit that like button. Please do press subscribe and hopefully I'll catch you on another video. Take care. Goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.